So hello and welcome to Cartoon Geospatial Solutions. So first of all, let me give you a small introduction about our channel. So in this channel, we'll be discussing uh, various geospatial concepts, and as well as we'll be giving some trainings on various geospatial softwares like ArcGIS, QGIS, uh, GrassGIS, and etc. So please do uh, follow us for many more contents. So in this video, as the first exercise, uh, we'll be looking how to georeference a topo sheet. So for that, first you'll be uh, downloading the topo sheet from the uh, Survey of India website, and then you'll be georeferencing that topo sheet using the ArcGIS software. So first, I will show you how to download the topo sheet. So first, you have to go to the uh, Survey of India website. So uh, let me delve into the website first. So first, you have to go to the Survey of India website here. So for the download of the topo sheet from the website, uh, you have to first create an account. So for that, you will be needing a mobile number and a valid email ID. So first, you have to register an account to the website. Uh, so after registering those accounts, then you have to follow these steps. So first, you have to go to the Maps Services, and then you have to go to this Online Maps Portal. So after clicking on it, uh, so since I have already uh, logged in uh, with my own credentials, so it is uh, showing here. Uh, but in case if you have not registered, then first you have to register here, and then you have to go down. Uh, you'll be seeing a lot of digital products here. It is product already various products here, but uh, most of these products are of some cost. Uh, so the only thing that is freely available is this uh, topo sheet. So first you have to go to this open series map, and you have to click it. So it will be asking for some uh, some credentials to be entered. So let me write down this CAPTCHA code first. Uh, so after clicking enter, then uh, you'll be given this uh, page. So in this page, you have to select the sheet number. So for that, you can uh, you can select this button. So after clicking this button, it will create the for the state the district. So in case uh, let me select uh, Andhra Pradesh for example, and then uh, I have to select the district name. So for instance, I will give this Anantapur district. So after clicking these things, then it will be showing the available topo sheets uh, which are available for download. So say for instance, I am uh, selecting this. So after selecting this. Uh, then I have to click this download to download the topo sheet. So it will again ask me for this code which I have to enter. Okay. Uh, so after uh, clicking this, uh, you can see the download option here. So it is getting downloaded here. So the main thing is that it is getting downloaded as a PDF file. So we have to first convert this PDF to a TIFF or a JPEG file. Uh, so for that, you have to use this conversion tool in the ArcGIS software. Uh, so after downloading this topo sheet, I will show you how to do that. Okay, now we have to go to ArcGIS software. Uh, the file is downloaded. Uh, so first, you have to go to this app toolbox. Now, uh, toolbox, you can see this. Uh, you have to go under this conversion tools, and you have to go under this uh, from PDF. So PDF to TIFF. So, uh, so in this, you have to import that PDF file which you have downloaded now. So it is showing here, and you have to select it in a place. Uh, you have to save it in a place. Sorry. So I'll give a name here, Topo. Topo.tiff, uh, since it is converting to a TIFF format, you have to give the extension here. And the rest things are the same, I think we can uh, leave them as a default. So no need to change anything. So now click OK. It is, uh, it is getting loaded now. In case we want to see the results, then you can go to the results tab and you can select this. Uh, uh, now that you have downloaded the PDF and you have just converted it, it into a TIFF file, it is time for georeferencing now. So for that first, let me zoom into this particular place. 
so as far as zero function is concerned you have to just uh, input the coordinates one by one uh, so first you'll be starting here and then you'll be going to this place and this and this uh, so it is always the best practice to zero reference the points either in a clockwise or an anti-clockwise direction uh, so first i'll be uh, zero referencing this particular point so for this let me zoom into this particular place uh, so as you can see the coordinates here are uh, 76 degrees 45 minutes uh, longitude and 15 degrees 15 minutes latitude and uh, meanwhile you can see the uh, coordinates here uh, so the coordinates uh, displayed here are totally different uh, so first let me zoom into this place again and then i have to uh, go to this uh, view referencing uh, toolbox uh, so i have to add the control point first so first i have to add the control point and uh, you just have to make sure that it uh, make sure that it is falling exactly on this particular uh, place uh, so it, uh, so this point has to be placed exactly on this intersection uh, so the more you place it correctly the more accurate you'll be getting the result so i have to just click this uh, left click button here and then followed by that i have to click the right click button uh, so after clicking this right click button i will be getting a prompt here uh, so uh, in this place you can just add the degrees in either the uh, decimal degrees format or the DMS format, that is a degree minute seconds format. Uh, so in this case, I will be uh, choosing this input uh, DMS option uh, since it is very easy for us to directly input these uh, uh, so called values. So, uh, so the value here is uh, 76 degrees 45 minutes and 0 seconds. So, first you have to input this 76 degrees followed by 45 uh, minutes followed by zero seconds and as you can see uh, these are the directions here uh, so since this place is uh, somewhere in Andhra it is safe to assume that it is uh, it is obviously towards the east of the uh, prime meridian as far as the latitude is concerned uh, it is towards the north of the equator uh, so it is again safe to assume that this uh, direction is correct so for this uh, latitude again you have to enter these values uh, it is 15 degrees uh, 15 seconds and uh, 15 degrees 15 minutes and uh, 0 seconds uh, so after entering these values uh, just to make sure that you have entered the values properly again uh, it is 76 degrees 45 minutes and 0 seconds and 15 degrees 15 minutes and 0 seconds and the directions here are correct so you can click ok and you have to just to zoom the map to the layer again so for it you have to right click this and you have to uh, zoom to layer and then you have to go to the second point so, uh, so for the second point you have to do the same step again uh, just zoom in and the values here are 77 degrees so first you have to click the add control point button and you have to just make sure that it is popular in intersection here uh, so uh, I think I have to zoom it a bit more to get to the proper intersection Okay, so it's fine now. Uh, left click uh, for a right click, input DMS. The values here are uh, 77 degrees, 77 degrees, 0 minutes and 0 seconds. And the direction is fine, it is towards east. And the attitude is 15 degrees, it is already there. And uh, 15 uh, minutes and 0 seconds. And it is towards the north of the equator, it is fine. So it is better to click OK. So again, you have to zoom to layer and you have to go to the third point here and you have to do the same option again. Add control points and you have to place it on the intersection here. Left click, right click, input DMS. Uh, 77 degrees uh, 0 minutes as you can see the more points we feed in the more automatically it will give you the correct answer here uh, so since we have already given the first two points it is automatically calculating the correct uh, value here so the uh, longitude value is almost correct so it is 77 degrees 0 minutes and 0 seconds and the, lat and the uh, latitude value is uh, 15 degrees uh, uh, 0 minutes and 0 seconds and it is towards the east and it is towards the north uh, so we have to give you fourth point the fourth point will be the final point 
point you have to zoom zoom to layer uh, zoom to this particular point it is uh, let me zoom again add control point and then I have to add it left click and right click input DMS so it is 70 degrees uh, 45 minutes and uh, 0 seconds towards east and then it is 15 degrees it is already there sorry uh, 0 minutes and 0 seconds and this towards the north of the equator so they're both fine and you click ok ok then uh, so we have given all the input points and you have to just uh, zoom to the layer again let me see uh, let me see all those four points so one two three and four uh, the final step is to georeference the image itself uh, so for that you have to go to this option so in this option we can do the georeferencing by uh, two steps uh, by two ways the first one is update georeferencing so uh, this option update georeferencing will be normally updating this image that is it will be just uh, uh, updating this image with the reference to information uh, uh, whereas this uh, option is creating a new copy of this image and the copy of the image will be georeferenced and this, and this original image will be non georeferenced so in case if you want to practice this exercise again I personally think it is the best option for you to go for this FTP option uh, because if you select this FTP option then it will be creating a new, uh, uh, new georeferenced image and this uh, old image will remain non georeferenced uh, whereas this update georeferencing image will uh, permanently georeference this image so uh, you won't be getting any copy in this case I'll go with this update, I'll go with this update georeferencing option uh, so after uh, clicking that you'll be getting the final uh, georeferenced image and in case we want to check whether you have uh, correctly georeferenced or not it is always the best option to add a base map uh, so for that you have to go to file then you have to go to add data and you have to uh, this add base map option and you have to select any base map for that matter it is not about the type of base map that you want to use because you, uh, you want to check whether the uh, map is properly referenced or not so I will go to this topographic map and I will click add ok so the base map is added and as you can see uh, the image is properly georeferenced because uh, I suppose this place is a city and this place is exactly uh, following in its place as you can see uh, if I toggle between these two layers uh, this place is supposed to be a city and it is exactly following over the place mm -hmm. and of course you can see the continuation of the roads here so uh, it is safe to say that this uh, uh, topo shoot is properly georeferenced uh, so I hope you have understood this process uh, this process of uh, georeferencing this topo sheet is the most basic step and in the next video I will be showing you how to create some spatial entities uh, line in po point, line in polygon features uh, suppose in case you want to create some uh, city features as point data and as well as some uh, lakes as a polygon data and as well as some uh, roads as some uh, uh, line features I uh, will be showing you uh, how to do that in the next video so please do subscribe my channel for more updates and please and uh, please do support us because it is your support that will be encouraging uh, me to do further uh, research and analysis works uh, so thank you so much for watching please do subscribe